Well, guys, today I have on my workbench a uh, like new condition Nakamichi Dragon. Owner says he got it new, so it's still in a nice shape. I just pulled it out of the box, didn't even like connect yet. So let's see, I, the door won't open. Uh, I have suspicion that is delivery issue. If they dropped, this tape transports may develop an issue. Mm, okay, all other buttons looks to be depressed. <laughs> okay, here. And those knobs works. Okay, everything else looks to be fine. But I'm already not happy with what's happened with tape transport. Uh, you see, I cannot open it without applying force. I cannot remove the door cover. Okay, so yeah, and see, it just pop ups from the bottom. I'm not sure. Let me see if, if in different position it will. Oh well, no, no, no. Some, something held this. Okay, I have to open and see what's up. Uh, see you in the next part. Bye bye. Hey guys, in here I just opened the deck. Uh, technically, you see how wide is tape transferred, so it's been stored in a really good conditions. Everything looks to be fine. I'm not sure. I have seen that uh, screws uh, for removing cover has been uh, touched before me. Right now here, see mechanically it works, but uh, it's probably the lower side would not let him out I'm, I'm not sure yet so i will have to remove the front panel to get access and see what's actually happening there however like remove it fully without the this cover it would be a problem okay let me play around and see what, if i can get access from the side and see what's what's wrong there so far, I didn't manage to find it. See you soon. Hey guys. So I was able to identify the issue. It appears that the mechanism didn't pull heads to the lower position and heads were touching the cover. So now you may see everything open and closed smoothly. So I believe the belt here is not working properly like or maybe some tuning would be needed to make it pulling heads to the proper position okay for today i will just like measure see what's what it can do what it cannot i'm run out of the small belts for the azimuth for the control i had to order those i have still have idle tire let me see this one looks good really i will measure the torque and see if i would need to replace this one okay now when we have it opened let's see let's connect power and see what it does what it does not do okay power is on Capstan's running, both of them. That's a good sign. Fast forward, rewind works. Playback engages. Yeah. You may hear the sound. That's where I like motor was working trying to pull gear to the top position let me see if pinch rollers are moving sorry i need to get my 
a second glasses. So because if pitch roller is not moving, so that's the problem. The belt is off. Actually, they're moving. Okay, in reverse. Okay, I need to see this clicking noise. And here, check, take a look at the head. I may say that probably the last worn head for the Kamishi Dragon I ever seen is just barely used. Wow, nice. So you see, it has flat surface and pretty nice right corner. In most decks, at the right side, when uh, tape is going, it will be uh, worn and there will be a flat surface and here we are good all right that's a closer look come on let me see if i can zoom in more okay i like what i see good so I will check when we may install tape and see if it will be playing something. Rewind still works fine. Yeah, it's place. Okay. And owner tells us there is an issue with uh, bias on the metal tapes. So that's what I will be looking into. Okay, next part I will measure the torque to see how well it rotates and if I need to replace Adler. See you soon. Okay, and this part we will be measuring torque, so rewind. 55. Here you see. Now probably Adler needs to be replaced. 55. So 55 is normal torque. And you hear the sound, that's where it's not enough friction, I believe. Okay, and play back. 40 on the right side. 50 on the left side. Okay, be good. Technically, this may not be need to be replaced, but I don't like the sound. You may see. Oh, it's work here. Okay, I will take a look and make sure that it will perform well. So we need to replace other belts and take a look into uh, bias. Okay, good. See you in the next parts. Bye bye. Hey guys, while disassembling, I found that this skew is not original so original is has like screws from two sides it looks like there was a damage so the shipping is well, already fixed so probably that's why it was opened but everything else like uh, i tell you i just cutting through zip ties and opening everything is original so i believe that no one was here before me that's why we will be working carefully to bring it back to life See you soon. And uh, here, guys, I'd like to show you another confirmation. So, get some tool. You see this zip tie? So, it holds the head wires. So, that means that it was not removed. And it's original zip tie, as you may see. All right, moving on. Here, guys, I found another small issue as soon as I, I can screw this. Screw, I see the board is cracked. Not a big deal, there is no traces. But anyway, unpleasant surprise. Okay. I will let owner know. See you, bye bye. Hey guys, I'm continuing working. As you remember, 
we should get uh, head wires. So playback head, two connectors here, record head here. But to get to the arise head connector, which is a small one, but it goes around there, we had to remove this board to get access to this connector. Yeah, that's how much work is just like to disconnect heads. Okay, moving on. I'm close to pull up the transport out of the deck. See you soon.